before you were formed I knew thee before thou camest out of thy mother's womb I sanctify thee and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nation the most important thing any man can ever discover in this life is his ordination ordination is more powerful than your plans ordination precedes plans ordination simply means original intent ordination also means purpose for existence you are not born to make a living you are born to make the difference ordination exists before the product ordination is the end before the beginning you were not created to find ordination you were born because of ordination god can allow problem to exist in your life as long as your problem did not temper with your ordination joseph must be sold to a foreign country because his ordination is not within his environment so envy was part of the transportation system that must transport joseph into the place where he will fulfill his ordination isaiah 46 verse 9 to 10 he said remember the former things of old for i am god and there is none beside me there's none else i am god and there is none like me i am declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure sir god will bring you here if he has not finished your assignment when god finished with you in eternity he brings you to start the start and uh, in the process of movement towards your destination you may experience the ups and downs but that, that doesn't move god because god is the author and the finisher so he understands that you will reach oh you will arrive you will get to your destination god will never bring you here if you are not needed every child of god has an ordination god is saying here you will never see me begin anything until i have finished then i'll bring you in the start to start the start in order to finish what i have finished so the end is ordination the beginning is vision ordination is the big picture of everything you exist to represent what you are born to do cannot be stopped ordination is the revelation of your future your fruitfulness is the manifestation of your ordination Fruitfulness is the effort that is accompanied by evidence. Any man who understands his ordination has no choice than to be fruitful. Hear this. Ordination is the foundation of all fruitfulness. If you want to be fruitful, locate your ordination. Jesus said, for this reason was I born. For this purpose came I into the world. To be fruitful means you must become a servant of your ordination. God never tells you to be sinful. He told you to be fruitful. It means that he has already put the seed that will make the fruit. The seed that will produce the fruit is already in you from the day you landed this world. Everybody has a form of ordination and that ordination is seed in you. Of what use is a tree if you cannot produce fruits? Of what use for God to seed you if you cannot produce fruits? When you landed here, you were heavily seeded. It is part of the wiring in your ordination. It was part of what God inculcated you. It was part of your apparatus to make you prosper. The world is not looking for your ordination. They are looking for your fruitfulness. Your ordination is beneficial to you, but your fruitfulness is beneficial to your generation. I know who I am. I know what God has called me to do. I know what I exist to represent. It makes no meaning until they see your fruits. It is your fruits that confirms your ordination. I can sing, I can sing. Where is the fruit of the singing? I can dance, I can dance. Where is the fruit of the dancing? I can preach, I can preach. Where is the fruit of the preaching? 
I'm a politician. I'm a politician. Where is the fruit of your politics? I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. Where is the fruit of your business? I am a guru in ICT. Where is the fruit of your ICT? Hear me, sir. The proof of your ordination is in your fruitfulness. Your world don't want to see your seed. They want to see your fruit. Fruit is the evidence that you have ordination. Fruit is the evidence that God didn't waste time for creating you. So ordination is trapped in every mortal man that walks on the face of the earth. But that ordination needs to be released through the portals of fruitfulness. The lack of fruit is lack of root in God. The lack of fruit is lack of root in your ordination. Lack of understanding of what you exist to represent and what statement you were born to make. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 9 Shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth? Shall I cause you to bring forth and shut your womb the same time? Well, if I tell you be fruitful it means I put something in you. It, your ordination was designed to be naturally fruitful. Look at verse 8. Who has had such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? But as soon as Zion travail, she shall bring forth her children. As soon as Zion put to work her ordination, she will deliver her testimony from today. Anything that resists your ordination and resists your fruitfulness in business, in politics, in the military, in your career, in your ministry, if I hear your amen, that attack ceases.